Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger. In this lecture, I will teach you how to identify and label the bones found in the typical reptile skeleton. I'm going to draw an early reptile skeleton of Paleothyrus, a 300 million year old reptile from the middle Pennsylvanian in Nova Scotia and label some of the key bones of its skeleton. All right, so let's look at the skeleton. First, the vertebral column attaches to the skull with the atlas or the first cervical vertebrae, which is a open socket to the occipital condyle ball at the posterior end of the skull. The next vertebrae is the axis and it features an up and down hinge motion with the axis locked into the atlas. Paleothyrex features 28 dorsal vertebrae which run the length of the back between the limbs. Near the pelvis it has two sacral vertebrae and a series of tail vertebrae or caudal vertebrae. The shoulder is composed of a large scapular coracoid bone, which features a glenoid articulation with the humerus of the upper arm, a clavicle and interclavicle are found along the anterior edge with the dorsal anterior edge has a clethrum bone. The pelvis features three bones, the ilium on the dorsal side, the ischium posterior and the pubis anterior where they meet is the acetabulum, a socket joint for the ball of the femur or the thigh bone. Below the belly we see belly ribs which are provide a bony support for the stomach region. These are called the gastralia. The forelimbs include the humerus, radius and ulna, and the high limbs include the femur, tibia, and fibia. The ankle has two important bones, the calcaneum and the astragalus, which will become important as reptiles become more specialized for running on land. I've uploaded um, blank figures of the skeleton of, of Paleothyrus. Uh, on the class page so that you can practice labeling the various reptile skeleton bones. And thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjaminslashberger.org. Links are found in the description below.